Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. I finished one video for y'all. Y'all should be receiving that soon. And then I'm on to another one. That's what we do. I record off my phone and I come and get on my um, desktop and we just keep it rolling. We just keep it rolling. Okay. How y'all guys doing today? Okay. It's my second video for uh, Tuesday. Yes, yes, yes. If y'all watched my last video that I was talking about a uh, follow up story on uh, Ann Hatch. Yeah, I wouldn't know what kind of day I had earlier because I had a doctor's appointment. I was off of work. Uh, I'm a main job. Okay. I'm a main job. But anyway, we're going to be covering this story. Uh, it's a follow-up story, too, to Naomi, Naomi Judd, the mother of uh, Winona and uh, Ashley Judd, okay? I tell you, this story just keeps developing, developing, and then developing. Because now I'm looking at the day. I mean, I'm looking at the um, the husband uh, sideways, in a sense. I really am. Yes, child. Okay, y'all didn't see me really good yesterday because I ain't had the other light on. My daughter had to tell me about it. And I don't have any makeup because, you know, you got to let your face breathe. That's why I try to do when I'm off. I got to let my face breathe here and there. Okay. All right. Looking fresh. Looking fresh. All right. So, um, yeah, I hope your day was doing, um, uh, hope your work day or your day being off or if you're retired or you're disabled. Yeah. Hey. Come over to the channel. Come over to the house and watch me. I'm talking to you because I ain't talking to myself, okay? And we're family. That's what we do. <laughs> but I'm knocking on the door, okay? Let my own self in the house. Sitting now, waiting on the family to come in. And let's talk about a subject. But we're going gonna to be uh, covering the story that our Radar Online brought out. They're being heavy hitters today for some reason. And it's an exclusive, meaning nobody broke it. Uh, beside them being the first one to post or to report on it and it's giving us uh let's see it's giving us a title of he didn't trust her emotional state late naomi judd's husband consumed with guilt over country star's death tried to hide guns from her at home I'm like dude dude okay and it was a radar staff person they didn't want to give the person a name kind of like tmz you fear a staff reporter for them they don't usually give you that type of uh shine which they should you know uh but they don't so maybe they're paid real well but it was published at 5 a.m eastern standard time okay um and we're going into the story because like i said first it was like uh, Naomi didn't leave no money for her children. Or uh, she put her husband over everything where he oversees who gets what and this, that, and the third, okay? Very strange, very strange situation, okay? Because normally, black folks as well as white folks, Caucasians, uh, Asians, and uh, Indian, Eskimos, and any other race or gender that I forget, I forgot to talk about. Uh, they always have something written down and notarized if they didn't want to be all formal by leaving a will, okay, or an estate planner, you know, where they take care of everything, you know, you go to the office or whoever, uh, you know, the lawyer, the lawyer come to you and they uh, read the last will and testaments of what this person that had money left. But she left it to her husband, she left it to her husband, like, okay. You got trust like that? All right, all right, okay. I hear you, I hear you. Ain't that trustworthy. The only person I really trust is the Lord and myself. <laughs> because everybody else can have different personalities, opinions, and uh, proceed to do what they want to do when you're no longer on earth, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, guys. It's my life I'm talking about. I ain't talking about y'all life now. Y'all get it however y'all can get it, but that's just how I look at it, and I preview it. All right, but we're going to get into the story, okay? It says, is this the real reason 
The famous Judd clan is suing to block details over the heartbreaking death of country superstar Naomi Judd. Judd's husband, Larry. I tell you, we got another Larry up in here. Larry ain't looking too kosher these days. But, hey, that's just my sidebar. Not in this article. Um, Judd's husband, Larry, along with daughters, Winona and Ashley, would hide guns on their sprawling 1,000-acre Lippert's Fort, Tennessee estate. So Naomi could not get hands on a firearm radar. Had exclusively learned. I'm like, really now? Really? I had to hide some stuff from uh oh uh, Naomi. Okay. Well, I guess when you're in the middle of health situation, you gotta use the white glove treatment. You gotta treat them like a child in a sense. You gotta lock up stuff. And it was very fitting, very fitting that you did that, but somehow she ended up getting one anyway. Okay. And taking herself on out of him. But anyway, um going back to the author it said Larry was always worried about how fragile she was. Explain a source close to the family. He never wanted to leave her alone because he didn't trust her emotional state. Larry's consumed by guilt over her death, the source said. Now, I'm like, sometimes, not always, but sometimes, a person that's feeling really overwhelmed about something and they think they should have, could have, would have did something, but they didn't, you have to look at them. <laughs> you got to go a little bit. Then the surface level, you got to dig a little deeper because if he did an excellent job in hiding the weapon, she shouldn't have been able to find a weapon. I mean, if everybody was doing their due diligence and being around her 24-7, maybe they could have caught something. Maybe they would have saw something and prevented it. But then again, you never know how you're going to go out this world, okay? Only the Lord know, and you are going to be surprised when you feel yourself leaving this world, okay? So, love on your people here and there, everywhere, all the time, however you get down. Just, you know, love on them, okay? So, it won't be no guilt left, uh, no unforeseen hardship, no mental state going, you know, getting you to a depression state. So, I always think about that. Even when you got family members that you don't even really deal with. You know what I'm saying? You need to make peace with that. All right? And if it ain't a situation where y'all can come together, at least you made peace. They know you made peace on how you saw things. And this is for the cookie combos, okay? Only the Lord can judge us. But anyway, going back to the other call, it said, um, Larry's confused. Okay? He, he's confused and he's consumed with guilt. And that's a telltale sign for somebody that don't do something they handle business doing. But, you know, they use the word consumed. I use it. And, you know, it just puts that question mark in my mind. But going back to the article, it said, I'm told he feels very guilty because the firearm she used was his. What? Let's stop the presses. <laughs> Let's stop the presses. Let me read that again for y'all. Who's sitting in the back and didn't quite understand what I just read. All right. He told... Well, I'm told he feels very guilty because the firearm she used was his. And it wasn't locked up, revealed the source. Okay. Now, see what I'm saying? We need to be looking at little Larry a little bit more close, okay? Somebody need to be telling somebody her death need to be investigated, okay? Because you knew she had this mental issue going on. You knew she was in a fragile state. Why in the hell would you leave something unlocked? Out for the public to see, for anybody that's coming over there to see. You 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 had a lot. You know how they say locked and loaded. You had to load it too. Ah, oh, somebody really need to be calling in. <laughs> maybe a cousin, distant friend, uh, maybe a relative removed two times, twice. Okay, somebody need to be blowing the whistle because it don't smell good. It don't smell good. Kind of smells like rotten milk going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But anyway, going back to the story, uh, it says on April 30th, at the threatening suicide multiple times before 76-year-old Naomi shot herself in a fit of depression after returning from a trip to Austria. Okay, as OK Magazine first reported, Naomi was petrified about going on her tour again with her daughter Winona and feared her beauty was gone. See how I'm talking about? <sighs> Stop being on the surface with how you think you look to other people. The society has gotten it wrong and continues to get it wrong. What you see on them billboards and the magazines is struggle. These people do anything and everything to stay youthful looking. 
if they really did find the fountain of youth it'll be so many out there being so vain about their uh looks which is so superficial it's what's on the inside that you protect you project on the outside is who you are your character people I understand that because beauty fades that's what it's supposed to do you're not supposed to say you for looking every you know all the time whatnot because think about it the human race huh, used to have thousands and thousands of years we're barely getting past the starting point of giving birth and the child not coming in stillborn we're losing people that are like in their toddler years in their elementary years in their high school years you know before that their, their time is up so please think about that before you start to go make all these cosmetic choices about your face, your body, your butt, your breast. Think about it, okay? Have a second, third, fourth, fifth thought about it before you go under the knife, okay? Because all of it is just superficial. But again, she was in the entertainment industry, and that's what sells. Your looks sell, your body sells, and they always try to uh, sexualize women for some reason okay but anyway that's just my sidebar going back to the article um we uh, we uh we're reading in her autobiography uh, autobiography okay that's the judge was once recalled hearing naomi fighting with the guy she brought home and firing a shot at him hold up <laughs> hold up so you're trying to say naomi naomi knew how to use a gun and she brought home a fella from on the road. Where, where, where was Larry? Where was little Larry? I'm like, are we having an open relationship here? Or she was mad at little Larry? And she just wanted to bring somebody and start some shit up in the house. Woohoo! That was the some 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 people don't need to have guns, knives, or any other material that can uh, hurt another person. You see what I'm saying? Cause mm 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 mm. See how everybody going all willy nilly up in this house? Okay. But anyway, let me read that again for the people in the back. In her autobiography, Ashley Judd once recalled hearing Naomi, that's her mom, fighting with the guy. She brought home and firing a shot at him. Maybe this was for a little Larry's time. Okay, I'm not really sure, but we're just going to move on from there. Naomi always had a crazy streak and was honestly dangerous about guns, said a source. Mm-hmm. Her death incredibly tragic but many saw it as sadly inevitable a source connected to the family said <laughs> let me read that again because that, that shit didn't make no sense that i just read okay on the surface it did not make no sense here we go her death incredibly tragic but many saw it as sadly inevitable a source connected to the family read i said so y'all knew her choice of weapon she was going to end up taking her life on. Y'all knew that already? And y'all didn't strip the house uh, quick, fast, in a hurry of those items, knives, forks, anything, you know, that could take her out. It just went all over y'all head and said, y'all still going to keep y'all, we have the rights to bear arms type of scenario going on. <laughs> okay, we see what kind of life, we see what kind of life they living, right, y'all? Hmm. So it was just to be expected that she was going to take a firearm and just let half, huh? So, really? Okay. I mean, she couldn't have, you know, took pills or something like that or uh, drunk herself with water and just exploded. So you're saying it was her choice, but y'all kept all these weapons supposed to been locked up, but one was left unlocked up, right, ready to rock and roll, loaded to do whatever, whatever. Just let Naomi... Or Naomi fend for her desires of offing herself. Okay, okay, I get it. I tell you, I understand white folks sometimes. I don't understand white folks. Not just trying to put a stereotype on them, but <laughs> but at least black folk they try to think about what's the causes, what's the consequences. What what am I gonna ever? <laughs> If I don't succeed, would I be a vegetable? You know, we, we be running shit through our mind like that. White folk, they be straight up. They gonna go do it. <laughs> I'm like, hold up. Wait a minute. It needs to be some afterthought. Okay? We need to look at it from another big perspective here. Okay? But I tell you. Mm, mm, mm. That is sad. Somebody really need to be investigating. Because I'm getting to look at a whole family. Okay? The whole family I'm looking at now. Side-eyeing. Like, 
Did y'all really need that money? Y'all wanted that money. She didn't want to give it to you. So you had to do it. That's all allegedly what I'm focusing and, and trying to put out there, okay? It's all allegedly. It's just the the story that I'm reading is not really matching up to who y'all said she was. And you're going to continue to put weapons out there for her to use. It's just she need to think of what day, what time, what hour she going to do it. Is that what y'all telling me? That's some bullshit. That's some foolishness, fake, real fraudulent, fake fuckery going on, okay? I don't understand. I really don't understand. What's going on? If we, you know, she living in the house, got family all around her. Y'all saying y'all love her, and y'all do some shit like that. <sighs> okay, that's kind of where we living in, okay? All righty then. Going back, it said it would have been easy for the family and everyone if the authorities would just release their findings. Then Naomi and the whole matter could be finally laid to rest and at peace. As Radar previously reported, following Naomi's death, the judge family sued to block the release of records related to the country star's death. To us to tell us the family deliberately buried the devastating details of the tragic suicide. Buried it in what way? Because the youngest daughter, Ashley, she came out on Good Morning America, some high-profile media source, and gave really the tea. Okay, really broke it down to us of what happened, how it happened, because they was going to be the first one to tell the narrative of their mother's demise. Now you're saying they bury some stuff? Is that what we do? Because right now everybody needs to be investigated. They need to be uh, retained. They need to be threatened about going to jail. You know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense. I'm trying to make it make sense, but I, I can't see any reasoning in this story. But anyway, we're going to move on. We're going to move on, okay? Uh, the judge will suffer significant trauma and irreparable harm in the form of emotional distress, pain, and mental anguish should these records be released, the family attorney said. Moreover, the release of these records would continue to cause the entire family personal and public pain for years to come as they would undoubtedly live in perpetuity on the Internet. As we first reported, Winona and her sister Ashley were cut out of their mother's $25 million will, and the money goes to her husband, Larry Strickland. A source said Winona has been talking to lawyers about contesting the documents. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, everybody need to be, uh, Ashley need to be uh, polygraphed, now, uh, Winona need to be polygraphed. And uh, Mr. Little Larry, he needs to be polygraphed. We need to see who lied up in him. Because this seemed like this was a deliberate takeout to me. To me now. You know what I'm saying? Just looking in and just evaluating and deducing the logic in this story that was printed up by Rita Online. Which they, I guess, got it from um, the reports at the uh, courthouse. Which are like, you know, known interests. Or how how shall I say? Not on interest. I mean, it's public. Uh, uh, it's in the public where you can actually go and get those documents and do what you ever want to do with them. Okay, they're open documents for the public to receive at a cost. Okay, monetary cost at that. But I, I don't like this. I mean, the Anne head story is kind of uh, losing its credibility as well as this story that keeps developing about the judge's sisters and little Larry over there, her husband, okay? It's not looking right. It's not looking right. Maybe the story would come out sooner rather than later. And we can definitely put this article as well as person's life uh we can bury it along with her. But as long as we keep getting stuff like this, I'm like, okay, why are you fighting so hard? You came on national television and told us, well, this is what my mother did. Okay, this is what she, this is how she took her life. You know, being all politician, uh, worded up, and uh, frankly speaking, you know what I'm saying? So what, why you don't want us to dig a little further? Because it seems like something needs to be done. Something needs to be retracted back, and we smell people that are not really genuine. Okay? That's what it's giving me. But y'all get in the comments, family. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this uh, unearthed story that just keeps seeming to develop, to develop, to develop, which I'm not really sure why. Okay? But that's all I got. I ain't got no more, and I'll see you on the next video. But make sure you subscribe, you subscribe, you subscribe. If you find yourself unsubscribed, subscribe back again, okay? Because I need you over here with me. We need to be having a discussion. You know, I make my opinion on a story that I found that I wanted to cover. Then I look to you all to come in and tell me what y'all thought about it, okay? So I'll see y'all next video.